Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and happy Earth Day! Today we're going to be reading The Pout Pout Fish Cleans Up the Ocean. The Pout Pout Fish Cleans Up the Ocean is by Deborah Deason, illustrated by Dan Hanna. Let's see what happens in The Pout Pout Fish Cleans Up the Ocean. The ocean is amazing! Mr. Fish's grin was wide. The beautiful surroundings left him wonderstruck inside. His head was full of happy and his heart was full of awe, but his smile sank away when he turned around and saw a big, big mess. Uh-oh. Hmm, I don't think I can see it from here. What do you think he sees? A big, big mess. Whatever could it be? But he couldn't really tell. So he talked with a friend who had noticed it as well. There's a problem that needs solving and I don't know what to do, but I'm going to find some answers. Would you like to join me too? You think she's gonna join? Absolutely, said Miss Shimmer. As she grabbed a few supplies, they traveled to the mystery mess to see with their own eyes. Swimming off, they were enchanted by the ocean big and bright, but looming in the distance was that dark and dismal sight. Mm, we still can't really see, can we? But something over here is making them worried. It was a big, big mess. Uh-oh, I can see some of it. Look, it looks like a box of toys, a cup, and a straw. Uh-oh. What's it made of? They both wondered, and they pondered it out loud. Around them, others gathered in a small but growing crowd. There's a problem that needs solving and we don't know what to do, but we're going to find some answers. Would you like to join us too? Count us in, said Mr. Seahorse, and he powered up his rig. Look at his cool vehicle here. He powered up his rig. Enthusiasm bubbled. Yes, the group was getting big. They jetted through the ocean in a peaceful sort of bliss, but the thing that stretched before them was impossible to miss. It was a big, big mess. Oh, now we can really see it. What do you see on the ground? I see maybe a pizza box, a bag, some silverware. Uh-oh, oh no. Look, the loops around some cans. Those are all dangerous for the water, aren't they? Who will fix it? Fish was asking, hoping someone else would know. There was lots of conversation as they traveled to and fro. There's a problem that needs solving and we don't know what to do, but we're going to find some answers. Would you like to join us too? Oh, now the group is getting really big. All as one, said Mrs. Squid. As she squished away some junk, the group continued forward toward the nearing pile of gunk. Oh no, toys and bottles. Oh no, a fish is stuck. They reached the mystery mess. They took measurements and samples. They made notes and they did research. They found similar examples. When everyone was finished, they assembled to discuss. They came to one conclusion. <gasps> the problem is us. Oh no, they haven't been keeping their space clean. We made this big, big mess. They froze in disbelief. Then they all began to shout, feeling troubled and unease and some began to pout. <laughs> Were they stuck in this forever? Would it worsen? Would it grow? 
Mr. Fish was too worried. But there's one thing that I know. It's awful that we caused it, but this bad news, it could be good. For it means that we can solve it if we all agree we should. What do you think they should do? Let's see. Silence filled the ocean. Their futures were at stake. It was a moment of decision, but which one would they make? It was a big, big yes. It was a big, big yes. We can do it, they exclaimed positively, yes and yup. So they all pitched in together and they cleaned the ocean up. They gathered up the garbage with the help of everyone and they worked hard to fix and remedy the damage that they'd done. Look, they're cleaning, they're throwing stuff away, they're making sure other things are clean as well. Then they walked, they, then they talked about new habits, how to travel with less trace and reduce their use of plastics and put trash right in its place. Problems have solutions, so we learn what we can do. Together, we're the answer. Would you like to join us too? The end. So at the end, they left a little note. It says, Mr. Fish and his friends are counting on you. Even if you don't live anywhere near a beach, there are many things you can do to help clean up and protect our oceans. So he has lots of things that we throw away. We need to be careful that they end up in the trash so that they don't go into the ocean or in onto the land where animals are gonna eat them. A lot of animals end up eating lots of our trash that gets left on the ground or in the water. So it's important that we throw things away and that when we can, we reuse things. That's why we like to use reusable bottles or if we're drawing on paper, we like to use both sides, color on one side, flip it over and color the other. Anytime we can reuse things, we make less waste. And anytime we make waste, it's important that it ends up in the trash so that it doesn't end up in the ocean or on the land to hurt our animals. Oh, that was a great, oop, I kicked the stand. <laughs> That's a great story today. I hope you all have a wonderful Earth Day, and I can't wait to read you all next week. Have a wonderful week filled with sunshine. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.